Hi, this is Kim, mom of six blessings or just six blessings. And my six blessings are obviously my children. And I'm a little annoyed right now because I've attempted to do this video three times and three of my six kids have come outside and interrupted. So I've had to restart, but they are blessings most of the time. So I will go on. I first wanted to share with you all my eBay store name because that's where all the stuff that I am getting, um, picking and then flipping will be on my eBay store. And it is Hager Mom of Six Blessings. H-A-G-E-R Mom of Number Six, the Number Six blessings. I have about 56 items listed and this has just been going on for maybe four weeks since I started but I have about a hundred things that I still need to list. Um, the process of photographing and editing and researching and just listing in general is very time consuming. So I haven't garnered the courage yet to go into a Goodwill or garage sale and film while I'm in there. I don't want people to think I'm talking to myself or I don't know. I haven't done that yet. I'd like to. I know a lot of YouTubers do that, that are doing the same thing that I'm doing and they're very successful. So in the meantime, until I can figure out a way to start doing that, if I do, I just wanted to share with you some of the items that I pick up um, every other day, maybe. Um, it's kind of an obsession to go shopping and thrifting. So I wanted to tell you guys what I picked up today. And I said you guys, but I'm from Texas, so you will hear y'all most of the time. Okay, I wanna show you some of the wonderful, fabulous finds I found today. I spent $68 and I got so much amazing stuff the first thing and i have it inside so i don't have it out here is this absolutely amazing like black and white um very very heavy and very large hand-blown glass fish it's not murano at least as far as i can see i didn't see any markings but it certainly looks like it and it is probably about nine inches tall by about 10 or 11 inches long and it is amazing and i paid eight dollars for it and it is super heavy and super fabulous so i will be um adding that to my ebay store very soon and hopefully uh, when i don't have so many interruptions i can show you the fish but i did not trust it to be outside with all my inventory because we have three dogs and my six blessings, of course. Okay, first I wanted to show you these two fabulous things. These, you always look for glassy babies. That's what I've heard, that's what I've learned through my research. I found these. It's a crackle glass, turquoise. They have a silver rim, they're very heavy. The bottom is I don't know if it's a rubberized or a material or something, but these are super heavy. I just love the crackle. Um, I guess they're candle holders, but um, not one, but two. It's always good when you find a pair. And I didn't see any markings until I turned them around. And I see that both of them have this 1872 sticker on them. Didn't know what that meant, but I did a search for a comp and apparently they sell pretty well. So considering that I got them for $1.99 a piece, I think they're just wonderful. And so those are two things that I found today. This is a very unique piece by, let's see, it was designed in Montana. And I believe it's called Good God, I'm gonna have to get my readers out. Big Sky Carvers, I believe. And it's a cross 
which I usually don't get crosses because, you know, they're just usually kind of run in the middle. But this one is so unique. Um, it, it looks like it's a heavy resin material. Um, you can see up close that there's a lot of detail. Um, and, you know, it's a hanging on the back. But I got this, I think, for $4, and I think that it's absolutely amazing, and it may stay in my house. Next, figurines are always good sellers, especially if they're vintage, and I don't know if this one is, but I had to pick it up for $1.99. Uh, we've all heard of the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. These owls are actually projecting that. The first one is covering up his mouth, or his eyes. The second one is covering up his ears, and the last one is covering up his mouth. So I think this is made of a heavy ceramic or um, heavy resin, but I just thought they were so cute, and I just love the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I think that's a wonderful, Thing to just follow in life because then nobody will ever be hurt by you. Super cute for two dollars. Okay, this looks like something my grandmother would have made because she did uh, ceramics way back in the day. Looks like a wheat plant. Um, I didn't think it was anything special when I saw the front of it. Um, doesn't have any chips or anything, but then I turned it around and it said made in Italy. So anything made in Italy has got to be a little more special than something my grandmother created. And it was $1.29. So I'm really impressed with this, especially now that I found out it was in Italy. I think it's a spoon holder, utensil, um, when you're cooking, um, or it could be just some kind of a dish, but that was something else that I got that I love. Okay, next is these two mugs. They're absolutely huge. They're oversized. It's the first one. It's got a beautiful turquoise seahorse hand painted on there. And you can see the design of the mug. It's like a bumpy thing. Um, the handle's oversized. I absolutely love it. I don't really re recognize the brand, Oxford in Time. But, um, I love it, and then upon further searching, what do you know, I find this one. It's got a buddy, and he's got a crab on it. So I thought these were wonderful. I got these for $2.99 a piece. So I will definitely sell those as the pair. This is just cute. I usually don't like kitschy things, and I usually don't buy holiday things in the middle of the summer. Um, but this is a little, red cardinal i believe or some kind of a red bird he's got a darling sparkly turquoise little santa hat fur and a cute little scarf and i just love his tail and he's just so cute and he's got metal legs and i paid well i took the sticker off i think a dollar 99 for this precious thing and he might stay with us for christmas too i need to sell stuff so i can't keep everything Okay, the bags that they have at Goodwill, sometimes they're goodie bags and sometimes they're a bunch of junk. This one I found and I was quite flabbergasted because they're glass, they're hand blown glass. There was three of them and it was $3.99 for the bag. This is a, obviously a red pepper hand blown glass. You can see by the green beautiful and then a corn look how beautiful that is you can see the little cobs in there and finally the green pepper i just thought these were so pretty and they're not tiny either and so all three of those um i got for four dollars so i think that was a another fabulous deal um okay this i have no clue i don't buy banks i don't by things that I really don't know much about, but this is a bank. I just thought it was so adorable. It's ceramic 
and it's called Dreams. And it's got a little moon guy. See the little moon guy with his moon head? And then there's the little star guy on the roof and a little puppy. And I think it's a dog house and it's a bank. And it's so precious. And I looked on the bottom and it is signed um, and made in 2003. So once again, I wanna keep it, but if I wanna keep my eBay store <laughs> running, I need to list some stuff. So I thought this was just adorable and I think I paid $3.99. Couple more things. I got a lot today, but I'm not gonna show you everything because it's cumbersome, some of the stuff. This is a beautiful crystal etched plate. It's not marked, but you can see that there's some silver floral etching and it's rimmed in silver. I love the back, it's heavy. Um, I don't know, I think it's a great design piece. It's obviously not meant for um, food purposes, but I think I paid $4 for it. I should make a little profit on that. All right, two more things. This one is fabulous. Unfortunately, it has a couple little chips, but because the piece is so unique and original and um, the shape of it is so random, I don't think anyone would really know, but of course I'm going to let them know that it has a few chips. But this piece of glass, hand-blown glass, is amazing. Look at this. It's kind of random. There's all kinds of little things in it. But it is just amazingly beautiful. And I paid $6.99 for it and I can't wait to see what it goes for. And I can't keep it. Finally, my favorite thing that I found today. And I found in the holiday section something I don't usually go through. I'm going to have to show it to you first because I don't want to break it, but this is essentially what it looks like. Oh, you can see all of my hauls, all of my boxes in the background, so I apologize. I'm in the process of getting shelves and sorting this mess out. Here we go. Whoa. It is... Okay, I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna have to take it apart. It is a bowl, ceramic bowl, and on the the inside of the bowl is a leaping Santa Claus. And I think the reason why he's leaping and so happy is because he's carrying a martini in his hand. How amazing and fabulous is that? And this dish, beautifully made, has olives all around the rim you can see that and you can see where is he there is his martini and what goes in those little circular things right there is this dish with olives all over it and then there's a smaller dish with little stars and i don't know if that's where you put your olives in the other one and maybe this you put your vodka or your gin or your vermouth and I don't know what the bowl is for but obviously this is a piece that is very near and dear to my heart because I am a major martini fan and it is just I'm gonna try to show it to you look what does it say Celebrate the season, celebrate the season. But I prefer the inside, which is the olives and the leaping Santa holding a very dainty martini. My eBay store, if you're interested, is Hager, mom of six blessings. And all this stuff will be listed hopefully by the end of the weekend because like I said, I have a hundred things that I need to list still and I'm just getting started. Um, please subscribe um, or like 
my videos. Um, I like to be humorous and I like to kind of go outside the box. So hopefully um, you all will enjoy this. And again, I apologize for all this in the background, but I am in the process of shelving all of my inventory, um, more than 150 things. So thank you so much for watching. This is Kim of Six Blessings and let's go thrifting again maybe tomorrow or the next day and I'll be back and we'll see if I can actually film inside but let's not count our chickens. Have a great day. Thanks.